Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and in yesterday's video, I promised you guys that there was a couple more cool trophies from the server that we got that albino raccoon in. And uh, we're going to take a look at those today, but first we are going to go on probably a raccoon and quail hunt, if we can manage to find ourselves some quail. I have been having uh, consistency issues with the quail, it seems like some servers I can find them, other servers I can't, and uh, I don't really want to hunt them in single player, I've already looked through most of my quail at this point, and there's nothing special. I kind of just want to jump out into multiplayer and uh, look for some rares and diamonds And uh, that's what we're doing right now So if you guys are brand new to the channel be sure to uh, subscribe click that like button and ring that notification bell So that you guys will never miss any future uploads and uh, yeah, let's get straight to it Well, this right up here is a little level 3 blonde if we can get another spot on it It could not have gone too far. I don't think well, we finally have the call of a Bob White Quail. We are going to be using the 22 Hornet on them today just to kind of switch things up. We used the shotgun the last time we hunted them. So I thought this might be a bit of a different way to hunt them. And it's honestly pretty good. I have had very good success using this thing against the quail. And I think that's one of the parts where it really shines. It can take these quail out pretty reliably. And it's uh, relatively accurate on them. Well. Provided I can hit my shots. So finally, it only took us six shots, but you know, we finally got it. <laughs> Let's uh, see if we can actually, uh, no, they're going to land. We will need to run up and try for those again. You know, I really probably should have lowered my zeroing. I kept it at 100, even though during those first few shots, they were definitely below 100. I really need to get back into the habit of changing the zeroing distance, but uh, I don't know why, but for some reason recently I just haven't been changing it back and forth as much. And yeah, it definitely looks like zeroing to the correct distance definitely helps with uh, getting them down. I don't know why, but they landed really, really quickly. Um, I'm guessing, yeah, they are going to fly back up almost immediately. There's one of them down. And that will be the end of that magazine. Let's uh, go ahead and pick that up. A 203 red brown male. And then we got a couple more down. Uh, we're not off to the best start with, this th with these things, but at least we're getting a few of them on the ground. Well, I can't see it. I'm going to assume it's under the ground then. But uh, apparently this is one of them. Yeah, 177 male. We actually hit that one twice, so I guess we haven't been missing as many shots as I thought. It's just not killing them quick enough. Uh, that's, uh, that's a little unfortunate. The one uh, downside to using the 22H on them. It's easy to hit them in most cases, unless you're having a bad day like me, but it doesn't kill them instantly half the time, which is a bit of a problem. I really hope they buff this thing. But there is quail number three. Once again, I'm assuming it's under the ground because we can't see it. 227, that is a female. And uh, we've got one flying over top of us, I guess. No? Where is it? Oh, there they are. That was really strange. I did not see them for a second. And now it's just gone? Well then, I briefly saw it. This is already turning out to be one of the strangest hunts I've had of recent. Things are just uh, happening in weird ways. There is also something brand new relating to the quail that has uh, been discovered recently. Now, uh, this has probably been a thing ever since they were released, but it's just now being found. There actually is the possibility of a level 3 male, but it seems like they're going to be similar to the Gemsbok, where the males either never make it or just make it very rarely, because the one that was posted was a level 3 male, and it scored... Well, unfortunately, the score was not able to be seen because it was shot while it was grounded, but the weight was only 0.25, and I think that means it would have scored in the 250s, which is still below diamond. So I've got a feeling that they can very rarely make level 3 as a male, and there's just a uh, very low chance of it making diamond. And I'm going to assume that most of the diamonds we find will be the females, because, I mean, that's pretty much all I've seen posted is level 2 female quail. 
but you never know. Maybe there's still more to be discovered about them. They are one of the least hunted species on this map, if I'm not mistaken, primarily due to the difficulty, but I guess we will find out in the coming days and the coming weeks whether or not it's going to be rare to see level 3 males. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see if anybody else manages to actually get one and have it make diamond. Well, this is about to get interesting. We're chasing down three raccoons. Two of them are level 2s, and I don't know what the third one is, but uh, we're going to shoot them all with the 22 LR. I think that might be kind of a fun thing to do. And yeah, that one is a level 3, so let's just uh, unload into them whenever we get shots. Yeah, that should take it down. Three shots to that raccoon, and maybe we'll be able to find the others. There was two more, so if we can find them, we will get them as well. And there we go. There's the other one. You know, this never gets old, just blasting them with the 22, and... There we go, got another shot, and that is a Bob White quail call, so we will head over to the quail after we claim these little guys. That one we shot three times, level three gray, nothing crazy about that guy. This one right here was one of the level twos, I think this was also a gray, it might have been a brown though, it did look a little bit different. Uh, yeah, it is a brown. Uh, that's actually not one of the ones I was tracking, so that means there was four raccoons. Hmm, interesting. Well then. So I think instead of just making this video about the 22 Hornet, let's just use both 22s against the quail and kind of compare which one seems to do better. I got a feeling that the 22 LR is going to do better, but you never know. It might be the 22 Hornet that comes out on top. Um, I think that was a quail right there. Yeah, that was our quail. And <laughs> okay, well, we got it. That little guy's down, and looks like there's more over there. Just quickly snatch up this guy, 197, and it is a red-brown. Uh, let's see if we can get one of these. There we go. Got that one, and now this one if we can. There we go. Honestly, 22LR is definitely much better, I'd say. It's uh, kind of sad that it outperforms the 22 Hornet on even something like a quail. Because it really should be better, but it looks like the 22 LR is probably always going to be the king when it comes to taking down flying birds. Except for at really long range, that is probably where the Hornet will perform a little bit better. Uh, hopefully they'll buff the Hornet though, because it definitely needs some love, and I think a lot of you can agree with that as well. It's a bit underwhelming currently. Ooh, there's a rabbit. Let's uh, see if we can get that thing down as well. Honestly, I like these Eastern Cottontail a lot. They're kind of difficult to hunt, as I've stated in uh, previous videos, but I do like them. I think they're my new favorite rabbit species, and that one's a 1.80. That's a pretty good rabbit right there, actually. About 0 .07 below diamond, which is a lot more than you would think with these rabbits, but it's still a pretty good-sized one. Oh my gosh, 22 to 25. That's a big quail. That's a really big quail. I hope these guys are still here. I don't know what time this feed zone is. Four to seven, so they're definitely not here anymore. But that's a pretty hefty quail. I hope they're close, because that's actually probably the first decent sized uh, male track I've found. That's definitely the heaviest one I've found ever since I started playing this reserve. So I, I'd like to find that if we can. Oh, there we go. There's a quail. And there is another one right there. Both of these are females and pretty small ones at that. Uh, there is another female. That's a little bit better, but still not a big one. Ah, uh, 22LR is definitely doing so much better than the Hornet did. It's uh, kind of crazy just how much of a difference it is. I, I just can't get over that. It's such a massive difference. Let's uh, try to take down these other quail. There's still a few of them over here, and it seems like it's the males that are left. I think we just took out most of the females from that group. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. Oh, and also, I believe I remember seeing somebody in the comments say that they are called a covey of quail. So I will uh, try to remember that from now on. I feel like at some point I did know it, and I just forgot about it. But yeah, they're apparently called a covey of quail. So whenever we find a group of quail, we'll just call them a covey. He is definitely close. I just got a call from him right up here. 
Hopefully we can get a view on this, because I think that might be... Well, it's not him, but it's definitely one of them. Uh, the more we get down, the more it'll narrow it down. So, let's take out all of these that we can. And that one is a 192. Definitely not the one we're after, though. Well, we have somehow pushed these quail to the water. So, yeah, this is probably going to be easier to spot them when they're flying off, but... Kind of an interesting place to take out some quail. And that's raccoons. I guess we'll take out the raccoons as well. I don't know if these are going to be males, females, big, small, but I mean, there's a bunch of them here, so we might as well try to get them. And there's a rabbit too. What is going on? This area, I've just like pushed everything over here. This is actually hilarious. What is going on? This is great. Uh, I guess we accidentally claimed it while I was trying to spot this one over here. What is going on? We have, like, pushed them all into this little spot. I kind of like that, though. So, I guess if you want to get some animals into one area, you just run around and they all, I guess, congregate over here? Which is kind of interesting, but... Hey, that was actually kind of cool. I like it. Grab the rabbit, which is a 1.60 female, so nothing crazy. I don't know if there's going to be any other raccoons alive. I think we got most of them. I do believe one of them got away, but we did get the majority of these little dudes. So let's go claim them all. There should be one or two right here. Yeah, here's one of them. This one is a brown male level three. And this little guy right here is a gray male level three. I think this is the last one that we took out. It is a level 2 male. Got two shots into that one as well. And I think on that note, let's go ahead and take a look at the two trophies that we ended up getting from the same server that we got that albino raccoon from. Now, this first one, I was just running around to try and find myself some alligators. I was really hoping to find one of the piebald patterns that I don't have. And instead, I saw a quail fly off. And when I checked that estimate, I saw just how high of a score estimate that is. And how much of a chance that had at making diamond. And so I took a couple blind shots through the tree and somehow ended up getting it I don't even know how I managed to make that shot especially when I can barely hit half of the shots that I do for these videos but when we got up to it it did indeed end up being our very first diamond quail and a pretty decent one at that 272 I don't know how high they go but I feel like 272 is a pretty decent one so that was pretty awesome was very happy to see that and then a little bit later, we end up finding the track from a cottontail rabbit that was a 1 to 2 kg. So, as you guys know, gotta follow that thing and see if it ends up being a giant. And sure enough, when we got to it, I didn't even spot it. I just shot it because I wanted to get it on the ground. And when I went up to claim it, what do you know? It's our first ever diamond cottontail rabbit. And now we've got both of those awesome trophies in our lodge. And I could not be happier. We finally have every diamond of the brand new species. And uh, now we can focus on hunting the rares or hunting other maps or I guess whatever we want to at this point since we finally have all the new diamonds. And to be honest, I really don't know where to put either of these in the lodge. There's not a lot of trophies we can replace. I mean, we got a gray male goose right here. I've got a gray female in another room, so I guess we'll remove the gray female. And then maybe we can remove one of the European rabbits. Uh, to be honest, I don't know. But we will take that down and drop down our, I guess, Bob White quail probably. Yeah, there we go. There's our little diamond quail. Quite the cool trophy. I do love these little things. I think the bobwhite quail are a really cool species. And as for this rabbit, I guess we will go look in one of the other rooms. So I guess we actually do have another gray goose right here. And that one is actually larger. So we could go remove the other gray goose from this room over here. And I think that will be the best way to go. We don't want uh, duplicates when we could be having a cottontail rabbit in the place of it. So let's just remove this guy right here and get our brand new Eastern Cottontail Diamond. And uh, that's pretty cool. I definitely think these Eastern Cottontail are my favorite rabbit species now. Uh, the European rabbits are probably my second favorite just because they're adorable and they have burrows. So 
you can't really hate them. And in fact, we do have one right here. I could probably replace one of these melanistics. I do have two of them and they're not considered rare. So maybe we will replace one of those in the future. Uh, but anyway, I guess that's going to be it for today, guys. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys would like me to go for next on Mississippi Acres or if you would like me to jump over to a different map for a little while. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.